Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you, got a real nice little Sony, old little laptop with XP on it, works great, but somebody don't like these stickers on it. So I'm going to show you how to remove those with a blowtorch, so let me show you how to do that real quick here. Get this thing lit up, and you're going to come in real slow, got to come in real slow. Just gonna warm them up here. Make sure we don't burn nothing like the keys or anything. The edges. You don't want to get it too hot. So we're just gonna put it on a medium hot high, nice blue flame here. And come right in here. <laughs> no, no, we ain't gonna do that. Let's put the torch up. Enough fun with the torch. No, this is my buddy's laptop and neighbors wanted me to uh, clean it up. It's a real nice older Sony, what is it, the R505. And you see that sticker there is a little messed up, but that's all right. Bio, Sony Bio. And there's a serial number there. Super Slim Pro Net Notebook. And let's see the specs here. 30 gigabyte hard drive, 256 megabyte of RAM, 12.1 TFT screen, integrated to modem, and some other little stuff there. XP, and there's the XP working. Real bright screen, it's got a real nice screen on it. Got XP, there's XP. <laughs> there it is, remember XP? And there's the antivirus and all the little stuff in the test bar. So this is a pretty neat little laptop. It's got little speakers there. It's pretty clean. It's not all scratched up. It does have your little bit of wear, you know, with the, pan, the thing rubs on the panel there. And it has a little uh, dock on the bottom, but uh, one of the clips on the back is busted, you know, so I had to plug it in right here. Uh, just wasn't sticking down real good. Well, actually it does, but I don't know. It just wasn't connecting, so... And that little flapper thing on the back side was loose. And then if you needed internet, you had to put one of these cards in that, what was that slot PC AMI or something? I can't remember all those little things. And then it's got, looks like a SD slot there. I don't know what that is. Didn't say. There's your little fan. So you can see the edges of it. It looks really good. Nice and clean look at that not bad and there's a little touchpad there's a little roller thing here uh, this button seemed kind of loose I noticed I don't know if that was uh, something I noticed it loose but it doesn't have a lot of wear on it you see all the key on the keyboard uh, a little bit on the A let me see if I can get that in the light there's a little bit I don't know if it's going to show on the camera but there's all the little lights right there. Looks really good. So pretty neat little laptop. I'm going to clean it up for him. And I just wanted to show y'all. It does have a little bit of a bump right there. So it looks like it's kind of lifted there too. Got to check that out. You notice that right there. Might have been when it got bumped here or something. So other than that, uh, there's all the little doors on it and everything. Looks really neat. And it's got, uh, what is that? I think that's firewire or something sound it looks like one usb there and this magic door surprise door what's under here it's got vga of course it has a dock and the dock has a cd player and all that dvd and you just gotta get it to mount right so there's the dock and it goes all the way around and then it has a bunch of ports on the back side it's got a lot of ports because it's a dock so it has all those kind of ports on the back side and that little flipper door is busted but there's all the ports on the back it's got more usbs firewire vga and serial and whatever that one is and there it is there's the top so got the stickers on it there i guess he didn't take them off from new does have a little bit of scratches there. I mean, for the for the condition though, it'll clean up really nice. 
and it works. It's a fully working uh, laptop with XP on it. You know, I mean, it, it's you can actually use it. Get online and do things. And there's XP. There's your menus and Internet Explorer. Of course, uh, let's uh, see if I can get to the control panel. Just what this thing does here a little bit and. You can see how slow it is. Of course it is. Uh, you see, it didn't say... Oh, there it is. It is the... can get that in the light. Mobile Intel Pentium 3 processor at 1.2 gigahertz. So, there's their control panel. And, let's see, where is... System. Power options, automatic update, uh, display, everything looks, oh there it is, system. Let's see if this thing will tell you anything. Sony Electronics, mobile Intel Pentium 3, 1200 megahertz, 256 megabyte of RAM, Sony. So, pretty cool. It says version 2002 on it there. So, pretty cool little Sony laptop. I just wanted to show you all this. I'm going to clean it up for them and fix whatever needs to be fixed on it in my spare time. It just needs this little corner here repaired and uh, cleaned up. I'm not going to remove any of these stickers or anything like that. I'm just going to clean it up. You know, Get all the dust off of it, back it real good, clean it, go through it, and just fix anything that needs to be fixed on it. Just kind of spruce it up a little bit. It's not bad, not a bad little Sony laptop. And it's really small, you see how small it is? It's a really small laptop. And let's see, here's a lighter. You see how that's just your normal lighter see how small it is it's a small 12 inch screen so pretty small little laptop and you can still use it today but it doesn't have an internal Wi-Fi you have to put one of the cards in there and that's the Hawking technology Wi-Fi so pretty cool I want to just wanted to show you all that so I guess I'm gonna wrap this up here not a bad little Sony laptop huh let me know what you think in the comments below and I guess I'm going to wrap this up here. Look at that. Nothing on the power button. It's really clean. There's some wear there. I think that's where the uh, lid hits it. Alright, I'm out.